Alright folks, what's going on? W Drums here. We are back doing some more Destiny 2 Forsaken content. So, I'm doing something a little different. I wanted to do a guide on one of my new favorite Forsaken supers. It's for the Voidwalker. It's the Attunement of Fission subclass. Subclass! And this thing, folks, is just disgusting in PvP. It is so nasty, it shreds everybody to bits. Besides the way of the thousand knives or cuts or whatever um, for the hunter, this thing is the way to go. So for a long time, I was using the top tree, which gave us the overcharged grenades, which were massively powerful after this new sandbox update before Forsaken came out. And also you had the Nova track and all that good stuff. I believe it was, right? Yeah, there it is. And um, so I was using the top tree for a while and I loved it, but now I switched it up and I got the new one. That was my first super I got for Forsaken and I absolutely love it. So the grenade I've been using for a while is the Axion Bolt because now when you hold it, it becomes a mini Axion Bolt, which we'll get to in just a second. So first things first for this. So we have Nova Warp. This is the first step you get. The Attunement of Fission. So you unlock this by getting the Seed of Light. So you get the quest from Ikora, and then you have to collect those little uh, glass light looking things that drop from yellow bar enemies, public events, things like that. Uh, Barons drop them, a crap load of them. Pick those up, get 100% of those. Then you go to IO, do the mission, get your super, and you're set. Once we have this unlocked, it says, step between dimensions to subvert the laws of physics. That's already crazy enough. Press L3 to teleport a short distance. Hold and release the R1 to unleash a deadly void eruption. So, folks, right there, this super is so cool. So, you basically have, like, a mini blink that you can use over and over throughout the battlefield. Mind you, it does take up a little bit of super energy, but it's worth it if you know how to use it correctly. And... I've also noticed when you start the super, it also does kind of warp you for free, so make sure you're in the right direction because it can take you off the map, the map like it's done for me a couple times. So the hold, I realized, is that you can hold it and it'll kill pretty much every guardian. You can hold it for like a second, go do one, two, done, one, done. And now if they're in a super or they have more uh, armor or something like that, you can hold it and it will charge up longer as you'll see in the footage in a little bit and this is just ridiculous you can blink over and over and warp around just doing these huge explosions man it's nuts so next up we have is this the second one i think this is the second one we have um this melee ability i'm sorry atomic breach this melee ab ability hits at extended range and creates a void explosion it's unlocked by defeating enemies with your void abilities with the Attunement of Fission. So, this one's awesome. So you get your charged melee ability, and like always, you get your Warlock Smash with your hand. However, this time, not only does it knock them so far back like a tractor cannon, but also it gives them this like void explosion that you will see in the new Sentinel class as well, where it has like the, bo the bombs on them. It's ridiculous. So next we have Dark Matter. Void ability kills grant health and melee, grenade, and class ability energy. Unlocked by defeating enemies with your void abilities using the attunement of fission. So same thing here where any avoid ability, so your melee, your grenades, your super, any of that will grant you extra health, melee, grenade, and class energy. So that's self-explanatory, the dark matter. And finally, the handheld supernova. This thing is sick. So you hold L2 to convert your grenade into a short range void blast on release. Unlock by defeating enemies with your void abilities using the attunement of fission as well. So this one's kind of confusing at first because when I was using it, I expected it to go a lot farther, but it doesn't. It actually is for a very short range. When it says short range, it means short range. Like when you have them in your face, it's an instant KO if you aim it at their head or uh, chest, you should be fine, and if you're within a close enough proximity, you'll kill them instantly. I've killed two, three people in the same time with the one grenade. It just scatters and poof, it shoots four little baby Novas out, and it's ridiculous. And I'm rocking the Axion Bolt with the healing ramp. Absolutely love that still. And I got the Burst Glide. So 
Enough jibber jabber. Now let's show it in action so you can see how amazing the super is, man. Warlocks are back, baby. It's no longer Hunter Meta, my friends. It is now going to be a Warlock Attunement of Fission Meta. Mark my words. So enjoy. Now, folks, one other awesome thing I forgot to mention is don't be shy to take advantage of the AoE damage, the area of effect that this super can do. I've had people over top of my head that I can just get with the super and I'm on the ground planted. If you study the area of effect on how far you can get away with hitting them, utilize that. Really use that. Because you'll see in the footage how, look at that guy, he was in the air, boom, he's done. Like, no big deal. I've had shotgunners come over my head. I've had different supers go over my head. I just blow them up. It's wonderful. And also, highly, highly, highly recommend you snag up some super mods. Regeneration mods from the gunsmith, or if you're able to get them from whatever. I know the um, Baron's armor drops as well with the super mods already attached. That's what I have on my helmet and I think my chest piece. But... Snag those and put them all on. Have five of them on, you'll get your super at least three or four times per match, if not more. You get it so quick, as you'll see throughout the footage here. So, thanks for watching. Alright folks, so there you have it, my guide review on the Attunement of Fission Noble Warp for the Voidwalker, unreal class, highly, highly, highly recommend you snag this up, at least for PvP, it's deadly in PvE as well, I didn't really mention that in the beginning, but PvP, it's where it shines the most in my opinion. Um, and here are the super mods I was telling you about, I have them on every single piece of my gear, and I'll actually show you what they look like real quick as well. I highly recommend you get them. I already said it before, but get them. You'll get this super so quick, it's sickening. And just take advantage of that AoE effect, man, and just utilize those charge grenades. You're just going to be slaying all day, baby. Thanks so much for watching, folks. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I have a Patreon account. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you'd like to donate and become a member. I will also leave my social media down there as well if you'd like to stay tuned for more with the channel and see what's going on. So thank you so much for watching, fellow Guardians. More to come in the future. Get this super. That is all. And yeah, have a great day. God bless. Peace.